Welcome here in the Arts Council Pakistan Karachi to a concert by the Goethe Institute in cooperation with the Consulate General of Germany here in Karachi. I'm the Consul General of Germany. It's an honor for me to greet you here tonight. We are about to start. Just a few words from my side because this is a first, I think it's also for many of you, a first after Corona has started, that we start our activities again. We actually um, get the program going where people visit from one country to the other. Do you remember how it is to travel from one country to the other? It used to be possible. We think it's again possible. So this is a first in a series. I feel also very festive, not only because the Goethe Institute and ourselves, we can reprise our activities. I feel also festive because we're still celebrating 70 years of friendship between Pakistan and Germany. Pakistan Germany, best to see that. Thank you very much. And that's why I take a little liberty. Basically, everything is written in the program, in the program notes. But as you're familiar with concerts, sometimes the musicians pay some, uh, play something in the end. When you like it and you clap a lot, they play something in the end. Today, if you do something extra, they will play something in the very beginning. Extra, which is not on the program. They, play, they start with one movement, actually from a string quartet that Joseph Haydn wrote um, 222 years ago, nearly to the day. That string quartet or that movement happens to be the national anthem of Germany, and we will hear our quartet playing it, and afterwards, as you can easily guess, um, they will also give you their personal interpretation of the Pakistani national anthem. So let us welcome our musicians, the Arts and Saxophone Quartet. Um, 
the artist's saxophone quartet is now, for me, back on stage exactly to the day, because today is the 9th of March 2022, exactly to the day, two years after they played the last concert with me in Arabia, which was the first day of COVID. So that evening, the 9th of March 2020, my people came to me, colleagues said, have you heard? The airport is closing. I said, let's try. You go out, you get the last tickets, don't tell the musicians. So we didn't tell the musicians, they played the concert wonderfully, I hope as exciting as it will be for you tonight. And in the end I said, no, finish, um, please pack, pack your stuff, we have to take you to the airport, last airplane leave. So for me it's exciting that exactly two years later we start activities again, and I hope also for the musicians, because musicians need to see you, they need to tour the world, for them it's also exciting um, to be here. They actually came two days ago in the morning after a 24 hour flight from Washington State. Their last concert was on Friday in Washington, um, plus 50 degrees and plus 13 hours in, in time change. So they're, they, they're really, they're young, you know, they're excited, they can do that. That was the personal remark. The other remark is extremely technical and I hope you heard it, uh, you, 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 you expect it. This one, you call it a cell phone, a communicator, smartphone, whatever. Tonight it's a devil's device because it's not good for classical concerts. Mute it, cut it off, switch it off. And naturally, we are still in the age of COVID. Um, as soon as I'm off here and sit in the audience, I will put on my mask. Um, please, the same is for you. Um, respect um, the neighbors. Uh, let's try to stay safe, despite of the fact that hopefully we are vaccinated. Um, put on your mask. And the last comment is enjoy the concert. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Cultural Conference tonight. It's our very first time in Pakistan, and we are so happy to have the opportunity to bring our music to you tonight. So the saxophone is maybe known from jazz music and connected mostly to jazz, and not that much to classical music. But you should know that the saxophone is actually much older than jazz, and that it was invented long before the development of jazz. And the man who invented it was the Belgian Adolf Sax. And Mr. Sax had a dream back then, and this dream first began for him in France. When he was walking as a young man through the streets of Paris, he came across marching and military bands that were still in the middle of the 19th century marching through the streets. And in his opinion, these marching bands just sounded really awful. For example, the bassoons and the clarinets were way too soft for the open air, and the lower bass instruments just didn't sound good. So Mr. Sachs thought that there must be a way to make these marching bands sound much better. So he went to his father's music workshop and started experimenting, and after a few years, in 1846, he had actually made it. He had invented a new instrument, which was much, much more robust than a string instrument, and had a sound that travels far, the saxophone. From this moment on, it was his biggest wish during his life to bring this new instrument also to his classical studies. Because as you already heard, jazz wasn't still existing in that time. So for this, he had, uh, of course, to promote it and to make it known among the composers of the time. And you can say right in the beginning, he succeeded in doing this quite well. There were actually some composers who were really interested about the new instrument and liked the new color of the sound and started to integrate it in their works for symphony orchestra or to write solo pieces and chamber music for it. The next piece we will play for you is also by a composer who loved the saxophone and wrote for it in many of his works, the Russian composer Dmitry Shostakovich. Um, you will hear now his uh, jazz suite number one, which is originally written for jazz orchestra. And you will hear now in our very own arrangement for, for saxophone. Thank you. 
So before we go on with the program, we have an announcement, a little surprise for you. There will be one lucky person who leads tonight's concert with a free CD. So uh, you were handed today a little postcard. It's hard to miss. It's our quartet in the middle of an ocean. If you didn't get this postcard, you will also get it outside of the hall. And all that you have to do, I see there are a lot of phones out, so that's very practical. You have to just scan the QR code that is on this postcard and then sign up with your name and last name and your email address. And then you are uh, in for a round of a free CD. And now we go on with the program. We will play Johann Sebastian Bach, Concerto Italia.
later on it could be also celebrated by the classical composers and saxophone has not always but very often this connection with jazz and uh, jazz stands for western music for america also for freedom because in jazz music it's very common to improvise and, and that was very attractive for many composers as it was for the next composer he's called leonard bernstein bernstein was a famous conductor not so much famous for his uh, writing for his compositions um, but he wanted always to show that you can have very light entertainment very seriously so he took for example the genre of the musical and took the topic of Romeo and Julia, Juliet, Romeo and Julia, and put both together, and he created the famous West Side Story, um, from which he played now several tunes.
Thank <laughs> you. 